Hello and welcome back to another episode of The Witcher 2 on Nixus Gaming. Come on already! We're back here on the ship at the beginning of Chapter 1 where we last left off. And um, before I go any further, a couple things. First off, I want to re-equip my Raven's Armor for hopefully the last time. Um, another thing, Witcher, we got a waiting. quest at the beginning of this chapter. A sword for monsters. And basically... The way they explain you not having a silver sword in this game is when you throw it in the dragon's mouth and you lose the sword and you have to go get Come another on one. Already. But if you ported your save over from the Witcher 1, then you get your silver sword from the Witcher 1, the moon blade. So we still have a silver sword, thus the quest automatically completed. Jump. Fun as that. So yeah, we're here at Witcher, Flotsam we're Bay or whatever, and Vernon Roach just won't let us do our thing. He's making us jump down. It's just me, by the way. The other guys are gone. They've gone to bed. Come it's on. like 2 in the morning, but I'm still here because I love this Any game. The port's blocked. Some merchants are being held up for months. For what months? That's money. Yorveth rules the forest. Uh, Diagram, Witcher's Silver Sword. That's for the, uh, Silver Sword quest that I was just talking about. But we have one already, so... Screw that. This chapter starts off a little slow, just slowly following behind them, but well, don't worry. It'll kick off fast. Very funny. But who does it belong to? Yorveth, maybe? I know more about the Pontar Valley than you think. For instance, I know that Foltest stole this land from Demavend a few years back. I believe you had a hand in that. And it doesn't matter because they're both dead. Foltest and Demavend, so who cares? Yeah. I smell an elf. Someone's playing a flute. Oh, right there, maybe. That's Yorveth. That's Vernon Roach, Special Forces Commander for the last four years, servant of the Temerian King, responsible for the pacification of the Mahakaman foothills, hunter of elves, murderer of women and children. Twice decorated for valor on the field of battle. Yorveth, we get it. He's pretty damn. <laughs> I've long it's awaited. Pretty damn impressive. We get it. Lay plans, set traps, and now you appear in my forest of your own volition. You aided the man who slew my king. King or beggar, what's the difference? One dwan less. Um, yeah, we probably want to take him alive. alive. No any useful spells. Get his attention. I need to focus. I'll try. Climb down and we'll finish this. I await. Ha! <laughs> You're a man without honor, Vernon Roach. An insect I'll not duel, but one that I will crush. Seems like you spout the same old elven drivel. What do you mean, Witcher? I've seen your kind before. Proud and shay, sneaking around forests, helpless yet masking that with acts of increasing cruelty. I helped kill Roach's king. You call that helpless? Or would you call me a terrorist? No one will grant us our freedom, Witcher. We must win it for ourselves. You're just another old elf in a young elf's skin, using clever words to mask an obvious truth. Obvious, you say? This is not about race or freedom, or even vengeance. You're here because someone powerful told you to be. Someone who's using you. They may wear a crown, carry a magic wand, or even lead a guild. But be sure of this. It's not about your freedom, your rights, or your ears. Nilfgaard plowed you once. Now someone new does. Am I wrong? Those times are gone. No one will ever use the Square Tal again. Who are you addressing? Me? Yourself? Or the archers in those shrubs. Triss, now! Got him! Oh, maybe not. He's running. Okay, we missed. We did not get him. 
Abort mission. That ought to discourage them. Triss, are you alright? You should have charmed the archers. They're coming. Geralt, the spell's still working. Stay close. What's, uh, what's Triss is spent, so no more butterflies. Let's get the fuck out of here. Back to the boat? There's even more of them that way. We must fight our way toward Flux. Oh! Death to Marino! Hands off my ass. Who did you think it was? I'm not a sack of flour or one of your commandos. I'm a woman. Oh, I noticed. <sighs> I'm gonna be sick. So there's a thing here if you can make it through this whole section at least without stepping out of her Step circle cold. at all. I'll hold this like I'm about to. Come on, let's go. Then uh, you do get another passive ability from doing so. Are you alright? Yes. I'm gonna do my Fine. best to. I think we're already almost to the end. It's not a very What's long happening? path here. All I see are your boots. Where the hell is that trading post? It is pretty uh, um, impressive. I can't it's think of that word today. We'll it. It's impressive that she's Wait. holding on to the spell while waiting. basically Trace. unconscious. Be quick! Give me a bit more magic. Just a little. Carol, kill them now! I don't see them. Where are they? I already killed them, I'm pretty sure. Unless more are coming. Why are you walking backwards? What are you doing, Roach? What, what, am I, like, standing in the spot he needs to be? That was weird. That was very weird, but we're good now. Alarm! Squirrels! There's a mage among them! Ready yourselves! And so I think since we're on easy mode, I just killed them instantly, but they were supposed to last longer throughout most of that. You know each other? Rather well. But he has amnesia. I actually took the Witcher by surprise when I killed Foltest. Fear not, Elf. I know Geralt. I know his weakness. Oh, good old Letho. Too many spells at once. You can die from that. See that? Yeah, the Kingslayer and Yorvith. You all in one piece? Who are you? I'm a witcher. Emirvar Emrys, spice merchant. A trader? In spices. Uh-huh. And the woman? My good man, we barely escaped death. Be so kind as to tell us where we might get some rest. We'll explain everything later. Very well. Head for the market square. You might be in time for the execution. Some ne'er-do-wells are going to hang. A dwarf and some bard. There's also an inn and a brothel. Oh yeah, the brothel sounds especially interesting. Take care now. So did Roach just give... I, he definitely gave a, a fake name. But did he just give them the name of the Emperor of Nilfgaard? And they don't find that, that suspicious at all? Are very I don't know. Your what I do know, actually, I is we it. haven't leveled up once during the entire prologue. So, um, let's put in some of these, uh, talents, shall we? We have to put them all in the, uh, training tree, because we need to do at least six or seven of them here before we even unlock the other ones. So, let's see, let's see. I don't care about throwing daggers... Mm, let's get the vitality. Parrying blows from all directions. Maybe. I don't really parry all that often. Let's do vigor regeneration. 
both of those and both of the vitality upgrades. And I guess we'll do the parrying just so we can get fortitude up here. That sounds like a plan because I don't think we can if it's not connected. All right. Those are our talents. They still count, right? I don't know if you need to meditate to do that. I really actually don't. Um, we can't mutate anything right now, though. That's one thing that we can't do. Let's see. Attributes. I want to look at our passive abilities, if we can. I don't know where we saw those. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we had the assassin from finding the uh, one dude. We already got Pyromaniac, and I don't know where we got that, but we did. Conjurer, I believe that's the one we get from staying in the circle the entire time. So we got that. That gives us Signs Damage plus 3. Strong Back is really useful. We actually got that one last episode from getting Aryan all the way through there stealthily. So that's very good. And Cover. Damage Reduction plus 10. I don't know where we got that. I don't... A lot of these I won't be going Shut over. I will try and get as many of the unique ones the as I can, that. though. The ones hey, that you actually have to do something in the game they to do, you know? We've all heard the but we got an execution to watch, so let's head to the town square, shall we? <laughs> I think this Probably wouldn't like hurt to look at some of the merchants around the here. Freak. You might want to stir it. I haven't actually looked up any of the merchants in the area. So I don't know a lot. I should include that in my research. Maybe we'll do that next episode after I look all that up. Because there's obviously one there. But I don't know where they all are. Town Square is going to be up through here. We also need to look for a notice board. Which I think is going to be in the Town Square. Oh, this looks fun. This looks super fun. What's going on here, guys? Zoltan. Dandelion. My former. Just great. What's the plan? We improvise. No killing. We'll take care of this, Triss. Geralt! Geralt! Over here! Help! Find a way to free Dandelion and Zoltan. Two characters from the first game that appeared a lot in the books. Now, Andrew mentioned it last episode, and I think it's just the clothes they wear. A lot of these guys look like they aren't wearing pants. Which is sort of weird. Alright, um, I guess I gotta... How do I do this? Who do I talk to to stop Step this? Back, white one. Uh, what's going out on here? What are they going to hang for? They don't look dangerous. The charges... Collusion with a sky or two. Dandelion, an elven spy? The bard's hanging for debauchery. What? The sentence was he's to hang for debauchery. And a sentence is nothing to scoff at! Oh, man. Is this justice as you see it? Are you serious? Listen here, people. Is profligacy now a punishable offense in the free kingdom of Tamaria? Or are we in Nilfgaard? A piss off, freak! Or you'll have me to deal with. Think of the common folk, you're spoiling their fun. Well, a freak he may be, but he speaks true. Debauchery is one of my favorite pastimes, but I don't want a noose placed around my neck for pursuing it. The soldier boys paid us a visit or two, though we didn't have much fun. Away with you, Margo! Go back to your brothel! Time to go? Fine. But hear this, people. He sure liked to parade about. But his willy wouldn't come to attention. Ha! Stop the execution. Shut your trap. The thing is to hang, and he will hang. This is a decent town. Whores and witches notwithstanding. Watch your words, guardsman. I don't know witches, but Margot's a decent woman. Shut it, all of you! Or I'll not vouch for what I'll do. Thinks he's tough, showing off his balls. Don't fret, people. I've seen the rot on them. 
<laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I'm warning you for the last time, Margo. You wouldn't hit a lady. You're no lady. Leave You're the witcher free. be. Want to squirm with the others? Oh, we're doing a fist fight now. Come on up. Got room for one more deviant. Not much of a fight. Oh, oh man. Okay, they're they're doing the hanging. Elf lady is dead. Oh, I pressed the wrong thing. Oh my god, he just laid into me. All the guards are coming in. Got to break it up. I got these people rioting. What the hell is going on here? I said, what the arse fuck is going on? Uh, uh, I'd like to re re report. <laughs> Out of my sight, Clover. A few plowing bandits and you can't even hang them. And you, stay calm. Hands off your sword. Our scaffold embraces speeches and hangings. Which will it be? Uh, who are you? Are you in command here? Forgive me. Bernard Laredo, commander of Port Flotsam. Yes, I rule this brothel. Uh, okay. I mean, I don't want trouble. I just want them. Your people started it. Short fuses, some of them. What do I care? They started, but you finished. I had to defend my friends. Will you release them? Terrible choice of friends, Witcher. I'd rather give you a thief. Relax. I'm joking. Oh, oh man, he just did that. I hate thieves. We can put on another show. Bloody and serious this time, mind you. Or we can come to an understanding. Zoltan's Maybe. next. Give me a minute, Witcher. Listen here. You may have heard rumors of the tragic events that transpired during the siege of Lavalet Castle. Sadly, they are true. King Foltest is dead. It's likely that Scoyatel had a hand in this heinous murder. So you see, none of you can feel safe. That is why today, wagons with armaments will roll out into Flotsam streets. I hereby declare a state of emergency. Await orders. Prepare to fight. And ready yourselves to avenge your fallen king. Now disperse. Go to your homes. So, yeah, are they, are they free? I don't care about any of that bullshit you just told them all, but are they free? What about them? They'll not hang for now. Let's say I'm reconsidering their cases. The scaffold's no place for civil conversation. We'll talk at my home. Your friends are free for the time being, but they're not to leave town. Come after dusk. <laughs> I'll be busy till then. There's one more thing. Welcome to Flotsam, Witcher. They were really going to hang us. I, I, I don't know. I didn't mean to torch that watchtower. Everything's all right, Dandelion. Let's get out of here. Oh, we all. We all you get out. Thank you. Time to hit the tavern. Come on, Dandelion, you need a stiff drink. And while we're at it, I'll tell you an edifying tale of local hypocrisy that conceals lechery neath a veneer of courtesy. Except nothing can hide the stench. All right. Cool, cool. So now that's taken care of, we pretty much have free reign of the town now. I'm going to continue on and do a few more of the main quests before I start all the side stuff. Likewise, I'm going to hold off on the notice board. Uh, notice boards are going to be in pretty much every chapter, and they'll just give you a bunch of side quests, a few contracts to do. Are these bodies just going to stay here? I wonder. Physics? I...
Nobody saw that. Are you actually kidding me? Nobody saw that. I meant to aim at the elf girl and somehow hit the guard over here. Okay, we aren't going to play around with that anymore. Apparently, I can kill people. Let's go talk to Zoltan and Dandelion in the end. Wait, is this the end? Did I go to the right place? I went to the completely wrong place. Shouldn't the notice board be in front of the inn? Wait. Oh, I got completely turned around. That whole thing killing that guard made me panic. This is where we need to go. Alright, boys. Round of drinks on Roach. <laughs> Damn, that was close. Inkeep! Vodka! Tris Merigold. Lice eat me, but you are a treat to behold. Uh, just a little pale. Magic takes its toll, but I'll be all right. Good to see you in your beard again. Can somebody tell me what happened? You set off a month ago for Zoltan's wedding. That got fucked. There will be no wedding. Did you hear about Foltest? Rumors travel faster than the wind. Winds and rumors. I want to know the truth. I want to know how Foltest died. And the dragon, was there really one there? And who rules Temeria now? Dandelion, calm down. You'll choke on your liquor. Okay, uh, let's talk about the dragon first. The, probably, despite everything crazy going on, the dragon is still supposed to be the most amazing thing. I touched on it in a previous episode. But dragons aren't supposed to be around anymore. They were supposedly driven extinct. and But, but there is one, so let's talk about the that. The dragon. Well, the dragon appeared, and that's all I know. But where did the Lavalettes get a dragon? We heard it fought on their side, huge as a barn, they say. Dragons don't usually take sides. Maybe its lair was nearby and it just felt threatened. If you hadn't driven it off, Foltest might not have taken the castle. Maybe. We'll never know for sure. And, uh, we, we gotta ask about our boy's wedding. He seems upset. What's going on, Zoltan? No wedding, Zoltan. The Bregan Riggs broke off the engagement because some limp prick put it about that I joined the uprising in Vizima. My would-be popular refused to let a rebel firebrand join the family. And keep, where's our drink? It was like this. We got to Mahakam a week after the Grand Master died. Bought Zoltan an absolutely grand doublet, a pair of Garibaldi Krakows, and as a gift for Eudora, a jade stone as big as my fist. You were broke as a joke by the time Dandelion threw me a bachelor party at an establishment called the Tight Lane. Next day, we went over to the Breckenrigs. They welcomed us in, sat us down, and proceeded to discuss the superiority of Mahakaman mining know-how over any other. And that went on until dinner. Just when I thought I'd learned more than I ever wanted to know about mining, they served the soup. You could have held a pin drop. Old Breckenrig rose and he says, A real dwarf works a mine. Not chase his fame on the battlefield. You'll never believe this, Geralt, but they served duck blood soup. It was as black as tar. They must have dropped lumps of coal into the pot. Eat, Breckenrick says, then proceeded to slop two full balls of the shite. Old goat. Hope his mind caves in on his head. Okay, well, uh, where have you been, Dandelion? I, I hear you work for Roach now. Since when have you worked for Roach? Hey! Nobody said a word when you went out to save Temeria from the Grand Master and his mutants. Relax, Dandelion. I was just asking. Do what you want. You're an adult, kind of. <laughs> that wasn't very supportive. Laugh away. At least I decided to do something constructive. You used to spy for Redania. Now you're spying for Temeria. Some might call you a traitor. Ever tried to live off of poetry alone? The truth is, I'm a citizen of the world. As long as I don't serve Emperor Emir, I'm not doing any harm. Leave him be, Geralt. You play the spy a bit, get bored, and drop it. You know how he is. Okay, and you join the Scoyatel, Zoltan? Lorido said you're working with the Scoyatel, Zoltan. I have done many things in my life, Geralt, but I have never stooped to banditry. The Scoyatel don't consider themselves bandits. But I am no Scoyatel. Oh, okay, whatever. Um, I do want to point out they were talking a lot about the Grand Master and mutants and an uprising in Vizima. That is all the first Witcher game, which I have a playthrough of on the channel if you want to go watch. It's it's terrible. 
Please don't watch it. Triss, tell us what happened after I was arrested. Triss, you're the expert on Temeria. Tell us who's in charge now. It's chaotic and getting worse. The old families are fighting for supremacy, no holds barred. Baron Kimbolt and Count Merivel, I bet. Among others. After the assassination, while Geralt was in the dungeon, the Lords convened in a field near Lavalette Castle to choose a new ruler. Three days they debated, and it looked more like a bazaar than a meeting of nobles. Except the trade was in court and ministry positions, spheres of influence, royal privileges. Ha! <laughs> Humans! In spite of several duels and two poisonings, no king was chosen. Civil war was in the air. No, no mages around to cool things down? Where were the mages? Hi. Where were the grey eminences of this world when they were truly needed? They weren't invited. Neither was I. But if not for their intervention, or rather that of a few influential sorceresses, Baron Kimball would have taken the throne. I was invited to sing at his court once. Afterwards, he refused to pay me, and the food was awful. No way I'll stay in Temeria if he's crowned. Okay, was there any resolution, though? It, it's politics. There probably wasn't. Did they ultimately resolve anything? No. It ended as usual. Sadly, John Natalis remains our only hope. Ah, the victor at Brenna, and Foltest's most tried and true field commander. Hmm. And during the deliberations, he was several days' march from Lavalette Lands, with an additional 2,000 armed men in tow. He's to keep the peace until a rightful monarch is chosen. He could find that ruling is to his liking. Natalis is a soldier at heart. He's not suited to rule, and I don't believe he even wants to. He's got the army behind him. Which is why he can guarantee peace. Why, well, a tenuous one, sure, but that's always better than civil war. Besides which, he's deeply in debt to a dwarven bank in which Philippa Eilhart as sorceress holds a significant stake. Okay, well, uh, he's not going to be able to do anything. That's enough, though. I think I've heard enough about politics. Let's talk about the king. Foltest killer lay in wait in the tower where the Lavalettes had hidden the royal bastards. He was well informed. Wait a minute. What were you doing there? I was protecting the king. After the first attempt, Foltest began treating me as his lucky charm. He ordered me to be at his side during the battle. The dragon separated us from the rest of the army. The killer disguised himself as a monk, a blind one at that. He let Foltest greet his children, waited until I had walked off, then cut the king's throat from ear to ear. How did he flee? Jumped out a window into the river below. Yorvith Skoyatel were waiting in a boat. It was planned. And you're chasing him because he murdered the king? I was accused of the murder. I need to clear my name. Besides, I looked him in the eye before he escaped. He's a witcher. Then some brave Temerian soldiers showed up, piled on me, and knocked me out. Save yourselves, good folk! The beast attacks! Uh-oh. We better get out there. Someone's casting spells. Uh-oh. That means, one, there's a monster. But two, there's another sorcerer or sorceress here. Look at him, Corporal, sir. Got remorse on his face, he does. Seems eager to make amends for his crime and become a law-abiding citizen. Yeah. That's true. My hand must have slipped. Listen well, you lout. I don't believe you for a minute. But you'll escape the Reaper this one last time, provided you pay a fine here and now to be remitted promptly to the fund for widows and orphans. Is this really the time? Pay or die. Is this really Which, the time right now? What sort of sorceress are you? A lot of good you did. Can't you hear Whoa, me? I... Why didn't you help um... him? He's alive, isn't he? The beast nearly pulled him in the water while you stood staring like a calf at a shit-covered clover. Watch your words. Where's this beast? Ask I don't her. think that was supposed Garrett. to happen. Ah, I guess we knew each other. Oh, look here. Birds of a feather. Let's say I've heard of you. Master Witcher, this is foolish. The beast near pulled Sozek into the depths. And you're simply chatting with this damsel. Uh, yeah, but he's alive, isn't he? Sozek's alive, and nowhere near the depths. The monster's vanished without a trace. You best take us seriously, lest you vanish without a trace. Look, okay. Get out of I'm my face. I'm tired of your whining. Get out of here. 
Time to go. Not likely. Okay. You I tried, right? You better ask how to flot some wanderer. I should have asked him about the monster, honestly. Oh. Okay, we're, we're doing this now. Are we? We're not doing it anymore. I apologize for interrupting, but I am Louis Merce, and I am chief person in charge of all matters related to monster hunting in Flotsam. It is in this capacity that I must inquire if you're willing to attempt to resolve the problem of our so-called Cairn, the beast that now blocks all trade traffic on the river. So, Witcher, are we willing? Look, I haven't even asked about it yet. I don't know I what it is. First, and I'll not Something else was contract. happening to me while it was attacking. My way or the highway, as the locals put it. Fine. Your way it is. You must contact the merchants on the waterfront as regards any rewards. Madame de Tanserville has, I believe, already conducted some preliminary negotiations. That I have. In that case, don't let me keep you. Tris, how long must I wait for you to introduce us? Sheila de Tanserville, advisor to Queen Zulika of Kovir. Kovir is a long way north. True. I had my doubts if the Kran was worth the journey, but those were dispelled with what it showed today. Here to hunt down some ingredients? Tris Merigold, sharp as ever. You're thinking that? Troll eyes, ghoul venom, virgin's blood, all those disgusting marvels we take from dying species. To throw into the cauldron at Sabbaths, right, Triss? Absolutely. Virgins are a dying breed. Oh my. Your sense of humor seems to be intact, too. But enough of these pleasantries. Tell me, Geralt, you saw the tentacle. What do you make of it all? The beast must be huge. It was definitely a tentacle. That is food. all I saw of it. <laughs> then it grew for some reason, and hunger drove it to seek fresh pastures. And on the Ponta, it found trade barges burgeoning with obese, slow-moving merchants. You're partly correct. Cedric claims the Cairan emerged from the northern swamps approximately one month past. Cedric? An elf. Formerly a Scoia'tael. Strange bird. But he knows quite a bit about the area and its living wonders. I need to look around, find out a few things. Hmm. An investigation. Witcher's rituals, extracting secrets and such. More or less. I'll talk to the merchants about the reward, pay Cedric a visit and get back to you. You'll find me at the inn. I've rented lodgings there. On the upper floor. You know the inn's also a horror house. Thanks for the warning. Well, okay then. So each chapter has its own, like, big boss monster for you to fight. And in this one, it is, of course, the Karen here. Also, again, don't ask me what happened when I came out here and it's the fault of the those guards were talking to me. I really don't know. Hey there, Witcher! Are you uh, Geralt of Rydia, Hello, sir? Who's asking? Thank you, Master, for what you did outside Love Alec Castle. Our family oh, would have perished I forgot about if not this. for you. Please accept this modest gift. So this is from us um, saving the peasants in Lavalette Village, Castle, whatever. Uh, in the prologue, where like one guard was storming into the house demanding war taxes. He shot the lady who tried to run. The other ones were keeping all the peasants barred in the house. Uh, since we didn't accept their money then... They're going to give us something better now. And you can choose to not accept it here, but at this point, you're just going to lose out on it. So might as well take it. Thank you. May the gods protect you. No, sir. May the gods protect you. So uh, what did they give us? They gave us a heavy leather jacket? Or did they just give us... Oh, they gave us a diagram for it. Okay. Um, it's armor plus six. It's not as good as our raven's armor right now. But they also gave us some orins. I think like 50 orins, which overall is more than what you would have gotten before. So that's really good. Um, let's see. So we have a few different quests we can do here. We unlocked the Karen stuff. But I think what I want to do now... Is I want to do indecent proposal. 
So we need to go up to where uh, Laredo lives and do that. I don't know if we'll be able to knock it out this episode, but we can at least get a start on it. He lives over this way. Up higher above so he can see everyone. So it's locked. We gotta talk to the guards first. Rita wanted to see me. Commandant's busy. Come back after dusk. Oh, after dusk? Are you kidding me? Okay. Hmm, what time is it right now? We could meditate till dusk. Is this... I just kicked that pig around, I think. Or it moved as I walked into it. Okay, um... Tell you what, let me pause here real quick. I'm not gonna go through and loot everything in town like I did in the first Witcher game. I'll leave that up to if I need loot or not. But I think it would be nice if I do go through and find all the merchants for you guys in case you do want to loot everything and sell it. So I pulled up a list here. We aren't going to get all of them in this chapter right away because there is another section to town that I don't want to go to go right now. Yeah, let's go kill some monsters, kid. What, you don't have a sword? Oh, 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 um. Uh, hey, hey, guys, it's okay. I put it up. Are, are we good? Are, are we good? Okay, uh, don't pull out your sword in front of the guards, apparently. That is not good. Uh, okay, so the first place we're going to is the non-human district of Flotsam, which is basically this place here, all these kind of run-down houses. And we're looking for the Dwarven Smithy. It was right over here. Berthold Candelaria. Hey, boss. Look who's graced our smithy. That titan of the art of smithing can't hear us. Busy. Works a blur in his hands. And how are you, Witcher? Things working out for you? Nice workshop. Bah, it's no workshop, just a simple forge. But thanks for the compliment, both in my name and the master's. So how can we help you, eh? Uh, so at the blacksmiths, you can use them to craft items from your diagrams. This is where you might go to make your silver sword. See, we are missing a good bit of items there. But the only two diagrams we got for this guy, it's not worth making either of them. The Witcher's Silver Sword is 10 to 17. We already said our um, Raven Armor is better. And what's our actual Silver Sword that we're using here? 14 to 22, so definitely better. We don't need to make either of these. So uh, You can, of course, trade and sell some of the stuff you don't want, which I might go ahead and just sell some of it to free up my inventory space. Um, okay, we can't sell keys, apparently. Of course not. Why would you be able to? Uh, all the formulas and everything will keep because I don't want to accidentally lose them. And uh, we'll probably get rid of a lot of the crafting components. I'll keep the runes, though, because why not? We might be able to do something with those. Diamond dust can go, and the cloth can go. Uh, let's see. Alchemy ingredients. I don't think I'll really need a lot of those, except for what I just sold. That uh, lesser mutagen thing. Can I buy that back? Yeah, lesser range mutagen. I do want to keep that in case we want to update one of our abilities. But everything else can go. Book about dragons, we already read that, so that's good. I don't really use bombs or traps, honestly. Cat is nice to keep on hand. Lapwing will get rid of. Swallow will keep that. Cat and Swallow are both pretty good. And any of the enhancements we'll keep for now. Get rid of some of this extra armor. And I believe we have, yeah, a bunch of extra swords we can get rid of. Alright, so we have 48 pounds on us now and 236 orns if we need to use it. So, 
The other thing you can do with this guy is, of course, they brought it back from the first game. Let's roll some dice. If you know me, I always bet mass max. All right. So here we go. First dice roll of the game. I don't think I rolled them right. Okay, so let's see what we got. We already got three of a kind on fives. What does he have? He has three of a kind on twos. Okay. So what I'm going to do... I've already sort of won. How do I hold dice? See, this is a problem because I don't know the controls. I don't want to press A to re-roll. I have no idea what the controls are. Um, hold on. Okay. So you press Y to mark dice that you're going to re-roll. So we're going to re-roll those two. And once again, we're going to bet max because we're ahead on this one. Oh, I lost a dice. That's not good. But we got four of a kind there, and we won anyway. Good, good. So we won that round. That was a bad way to play it, but we did it. My All right. Now let's look around for the next merchant. Take a good look at him. The next one we're looking for is Enar Gossel, who should be in the building just north of the smithy, which Everything in order. which way is north? I think it's one of these. Let's see, what? Oh, one of dead or alive, the elf Yorveth. Okay, that's cool. I'm just going to start opening doors to see if I can find him. Oh, we found him. Greetings! What brings you here, White Wolf? Make yourself at home, please. Do we know each other? I've heard, or rather read much about you, in the letters of the Rivian Diaspora. Well, nice to meet you. Einar Gausel, fundamentally a trader in old curios, although I also concern myself with a non-human community. Okay, well, um, he is a barber and a book merchant. So, once again, you can sell stuff to him. You can see what he has. Maybe pick up a few books to um, get you knowledge on monsters. I think in particular, we're going to want Neckers in the Mist. And we're going to want this one because it contains all available knowledge on Andregas. Might also help to get the Wraith one. Uh, and I'm looking, there's Rot Fiends, um, let's see, that one's for Witchers, Harpies, and Drowners. I don't think we'll fight too many of those in this chapter, so I think I have the right three. But honestly, also, it doesn't hurt too much to just go ahead and get some of these. So I'm going to go ahead and get the Drowners. I have 33 gold left to spend. Oh, there's a Karen one right there. I feel like I should have bought that. Oh, well. That's fine. So we bought some books. Let's go in our inventory and start reading some of these. Drowners. Uh, let's see. Wraiths. Uh, Andregas. And Neckers. And now, really, we don't need Mind these anymore. So let's just sell them back to him. Uh, go over to our book inventory. You don't get nearly as much gold back, but hey, you get something back at least. Oh man. What we can do is we can save and just Mind play him in Take dice it. poker as well. I want to play dice. Prove you're good enough. Then who knows? I'll be back. But oh wait, we can't yet. That's actually involved in another books. quest, so we can't yep. play him in dice. Never mind. Uh, hairstyle. Honestly. 
I'm fine with his hair right now, so never mind. Mind if I have a look at you? Take your and then we can just talk to him about stuff. Books in Flotsam. Books in Flotsam? I wouldn't have thought it a profitable enterprise. Hey, many foreigners come through here. Sometimes they buy books, sometimes they have tomes to sell. Yesterday, for example, Lady Sheila de Tansevo purchased items for a sum equal to my yearly dealings. Did she buy anything interesting? De Vermis Mysteries, the Exeter Treaties, complete and unabridged, plus a very expensive volume I'd rather not mention. I should add, as generosity must be praised, that she made a donation to the community, specifically to the Fund for Widows and Orphans. Okay, well, uh, tell me about the non-human community here. The non-humans in Flotsam are organized? We aren't. But we aid each other as best we can. I mainly collect taxes and announce the Commandant's dispositions. That'd make you a prime target for Yorbeth. <laughs> You're correct on that account. He's warned me many times, and I've explained the need for my function to him just as many. Both in vain. It seems we've agreed to disagree. Well, the sword is his calling, the pen is mine. Hence, no meeting of the minds. It wasn't always this hard. Turned sour when several elven lassies disappeared. We lost our trust in the humans and the Scoia'tael ceased trusting us. Did they turn up, the women? No. I believe Necker's killed them. I remember Moral of the White Hands. She and her lover made a beautiful pair. All right, well, Godspeed, Godspeed. to you, Gossel. Witcher. Um... Yeah, well, we'll come back to him. Don't worry. Like I said, we, we got to play him in dice poker, so he's good. Let's uh, go to the main town square for the next one. We're looking for someone named, like, Fiervanti or something. A fine mess you have here. You don't have a name. Irma, Pavlina, Zoe, ah, Fiervanti. Greetings. Mind if I take a look at what you have in stock? Certainly. You're welcome to. I'm Fioravanti, a merchant. Not to be nosy, but weren't you hired to kill the Kairan? I've had my fill of this place, and I'll be glad when the blockade is finally lifted. The reader won't let you traders out until it suits him. Seems he needs you here for some reason. What's that supposed to mean, damn it? Is he organizing some international trade fair? I'm a subject of King Demavend, but I tell you... Demavend's dead. Ah. Now, if you don't mind, can we get down to business? All right, so he's a pretty basic one. He can trade. Um, I don't really know, like, what his specialty is in trading. He has a lot of formulas and diagrams and then just random crafting stuff, which is cool, I guess. I don't know if I need to keep my diagrams and stuff or if I can just learn them. I'm not sure how that works. I'll look it up in between episodes. It's obviously been a long time since I've played this game. We aren't going to buy anything from him, though. However, we are going to go ahead and save. And let's roll some dice. Always bet Max. This is what I have missed. From. From. How do I? I still don't. Oh, it's the other. Fuck. If you lose a dice, you lose it. One, two, three, four. Five. Oh my god. He has one, two, three, three, two. He has two pairs. Okay, I think our best bet here is to re-roll these three and hope for two of a kind on that five. Still gonna bet Max. He raised. He He's pretty confident that he'll win. We got two higher pairs. We, we pulled that out. Look at us go. I think your best way to avoid losing dice, don't roll them at all, just just drop them. It's like the left stick moves them around on the board, the right stick drops them. Just don't move them around on the board. And you should be good. Uh, there's like four different innkeeper merchants that you can get in the uh, inn itself. We're looking for Dyson Beaver. Come on, nearly Sunshine, Lude Milla, 
and Marty Beaver. So let's. Oh, Lyudmila. Here's one. Just don't start any brawls. Peace and quiet. Get it? Of course. I've got my eye on you. Uh, and she doesn't want to play dice poker with us. She just trades, and she's an innkeeper, so of course it's really just food and stuff. See, there's Dandelion. Other people. I'm stuck. I cannot move. I literally can't get in between them. There we go. Uh, Marty Beaver's another one. He doesn't even say anything. He just jumps right into trading. The same stuff she did. Was it because he was asleep, maybe? No, he just literally doesn't say anything. Okay, the other ones, Get I believe, are out. upstairs. Warhammer. We'll be dealing with more of these people, hopefully, next episode. Oh, no, the other ones are downstairs. Yeah, downstairs. Upstairs is the inn. Downstairs is uh, the actual brothel, so... Trust me, we'll be down here at some point. Um, let's see. Dragon. Zizka. Ah, Sunshine. Here we go. She doesn't say anything. Just jumps right into trading. And then we got the beaver. He's the one you talk to if you want to access your storage. Right. Don't think there's really anything that I want to store right now. I guess I could store away some of my runes and stuff, but I want to figure out what I'm doing with all those before I store them away. There's stuff that I'll probably go ahead and figure out in between episodes. I don't remember really upgrading my swords and stuff on previous playthroughs, so I'll have to learn that. All we got left for merchants here in Flotsam is Vilmos Bardock. And the mysterious merchant. So we need to go into the first building past the gate east of Flotsam. Okay, so I I don't know which way. It's I think true. that's... Hold on. Let, let's puzzle this out. If Gossel was in the Can building the north of the blacksmith, no. then east is this way. Should we just walk up and ask Watch him? Like which means he would technically be outside Flotsam, which isn't somewhere I want to go. So maybe we'll ignore him. Yeah, we'll ignore him for now. Let's just go find the mysterious merchant. And then we can probably end the episode off after that. I was hoping going to all these merchants would pass some time for to nighttime. So I wouldn't have to um, meditate. But there's nothing wrong with that. Oh, hello. Maloga? Oh, you look mysterious. White-haired one. I have an offer for you. Oh, you're not the mysterious one, no. White-haired one. Let's see, let's see. I think he's Boss, supposed to be here, Anton. Uh, he's not on the ship that's being guarded by all those guys. Jotan. Merchant. What do you want? Hello? Heard you have a problem. Ah, if only we had just one. Highways washed out, forests full of bandits, a river beast blocks the port, and tolls are to rise. Can't help with the tolls, but the monster's a possibility. A sorceress said the same, but we've yet to see any results. She's asked me to work with her. And who's to pay your wage? That's what I'm here to discuss. The sorceress was to manage a loan. You can split that reward if you wish. I don't think this is the guy. Have it. Wait, time. I I don't want to talk to him right now. This is involved in the other quest. Tell you what, I don't know where the mysterious merchant is. This save put me back a little bit. So how's it going, dear? It's actually the Everything save from right before I played this guy, so I'll have to play him again. I'll do that in between episodes, and we'll get back to it next time. Find that mysterious merchant, and then we'll go see Laredo at his house. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.